Hi, TK. Hi, Kinder. Hi, first grade. Welcome back to art. Today, we are going to make little cat sculptures wearing either a sweater or a scarf, focusing on our art elements of color and texture. What kind of sweater will your cat wear? Will it be fuzzy? Will it be rough? Will it be smooth? In art, artists use both actual texture, how things feel, and implied texture, how things look like they feel, to convey a message. Your cat sweater has texture, so does your cat. Can you describe the textures in these paper sculptures? How will you describe the yarn used to make the sweater in your cat sculpture today? Now that we've talked about the art element texture, it's time to get ready to pause the video and grab your supplies. Okay students, the first thing you're gonna do is take your index card and unwrap carefully the yarn that is attached. You will notice that the yarn is still taped on the back. Then take your yarn and place the tape side towards the bottom, meaning towards your body, flip it over, place your card on the ground or the table, and you're going to draw a cat. So here I have a little sample cat that I drew on an index card. The glare on my camera is a little funky. I'm trying to get the right angle for you. We're going to do the same thing here. You're going to draw a cat. So if you want, you can put a line here. That's about one inch. Do you see the line? I'm going to draw my cat. I'm going to start by drawing a curved line to the top of the cat's head. My cat ears are triangle shapes. I'm going to draw my cat head. Half circle. And my cat body are just two curved lines going to the corners of my index card, okay? If it's a little off, you can always fix it and clean up your lines, no big deal, okay? And the next thing I do is draw your cat's face. So I'm starting in the middle with my cat's triangle nose. It's like an upside down triangle. I draw a curved line for one side of the mouth, a curved line for the other, and we add whiskers going out the cat's nose. And you could add cat eyes, minor almond shape. All right, and add some eyes and pupils. There's my Mr. Cat. Looks like I had a Mrs. here, and here's my Mr. She has eyelashes, I don't know if you can see that, making her distinguished. All right, you might want to add a little shape in here to, in for the inside of the cat's ear. And now you're going to get your scissors and cut it out, okay? I suggest holding it in one hand, cutting it very carefully. You might have to turn your paper as you cut. If you want, you could have colored this first or gone over it again in marker. Okay, now if you have crayons or colored pencils, you can add some color to your cat. All right, friends, so in my uh, markers that aren't from ISEF, I found a little pink marker. So I'm going to make Mr. Cat's nose pink, and I make inside his ears pink. But again, you guys can use any colors you want. And if I had my crayons with me, I'm at my office, I don't have them. I might use a crayon, but I'm going to use my colored pencils to outline Mr. Cat. You decide how you are going to color your character. And then I'm going to color Mr. Cat, and you don't have to use traditional colors. You can do a yellow cat, a, a blue cat, a purple cat. It's entirely up to you. Notice I put paper down underneath my cat because I don't want to damage my desk. I suggest you take some old paper, scratch paper, and put it under as well. So you are going to cut a little split in the middle. Do you see that of your cat? And that'll get pushed back so your cat can stand up. I'm going to make a split here and make a split here. It can't be too narrow. Now, if you're having any trouble at all, 
push the uh, push the legs forward and that might help balance it. You kind of have to play with it a little bit. Now here's the sweater part. Take your yarn and you're going to wrap it around your cat, starting around the neck, and wrap it really tight so it looks like it's one complete um, fabric. That's what we're trying to look. We're trying to make this yarn look like it's a sweater. You don't want to bend your cat. If your cat starts to bend, hold it tight, hold it flat, and continue with your sweater. If you have too much yarn, you can cut it off early. And in the back, you're going to tuck it in. You might need an adult to help you, or you might be able to do that yourself. So tuck in your yarn so it doesn't fall. And there's my standing cat. Remember... It's mandatory to post on your teacher's classroom and it's optional to post in our virtual gallery on Padlet. We can't wait to see your masterpieces! <laughs>